Aquatic invasive species can be mammals, plants, fish, invertebrates, algae, or even pathogens. When they are introduced into a non-native ecosystem, they can cause harm to the environment, economy, or human and animal health. Hi, I'm Amber Stowell. Today we're going to be talking about aquatic invasive species, or AIS, where they come from, how they move from place to place, and most importantly, ways that we can prevent their spread. Two thirds of the aquatic invasive species in the Great Lakes arrived here from the Caspian Sea region. This includes the Black, Azov, and Caspian Seas. This is where species like the round goby, zebra, and quagga mussels, and water fleas originated. Many are thought to have made their way to the Great Lakes in the ballast water of cargo ships. As cargo ships prepare to leave port, ocean water is pumped on board into large ballast tanks. This stabilizes the empty ship for its long journey. Once it arrives, it is loaded with cargo. Then the ballast water is no longer needed, so the ship releases the water, along with any organisms carried within. Not all of these organisms will be able to survive in their new environment, but some of them will. The organisms that do survive will wreak havoc on the ecosystem and can be detrimental to unsuspecting native species. This is the reason they are considered invasive. Not all invasive species come to Pennsylvania from overseas. Some come from different areas of the country and even from different areas of the same state. Regardless of the origin, transporting a species like a plant, animal, or even water from place to place can have detrimental impacts to the aquatic ecosystem surrounding. AIS are often referred to as aquatic hitchhikers. They can stow away by attaching to or getting tangled up in boats, trailers, motors, clothing, and even aquatic vegetation, mud, or debris. Hydrilla is an excellent example of an aquatic hitchhiker that can easily be transported from place to place on boats and gear. It grows in dense mats that can easily get tangled up in a boat motor and other gear. An infested boat and trailer, like the one shown here, could introduce a new population of hydrilla to another water body, simply because it was not properly cleaned. And because AIS are natural hitchhikers, more than one species might be transported. A small mussel could have easily attached itself to this hydrilla. Other common hitchhikers include the zebra mussel and its cousin, the quagga mussel. These invasive mussels attach themselves to boats, motors, gear, and even vegetation like hydrilla. There are three basic steps to preventing the transportation of aquatic invasive species. These steps are clean, drain, and dry. Step one is clean. Start by cleaning all gear and the boat. Look closely for mud, plants, animals, and debris that may be attached. Be sure to remove them before moving to a new location. Cleaning can also involve a pressure washer, hot water, disinfectant such as bleach, and a scrub brush. Boat washing stations, if present, are an excellent way to thoroughly clean the boat. Closely inspecting and removing aquatic invasive species from recreational gear like fishing poles and nets greatly reduces the risk of spreading aquatic hitchhikers to new locations. Step two is drain. Drain all water from bait buckets, bilges, live wells, and other water-containing devices before leaving a water body. Algae, pathogens, and even zebra mussel larvae can be microscopic and undetectable to the eye, making it easy to transport to a new location in leftover water. Step three is dry. Thoroughly dry boats and equipment for at least five days before moving to a new location. Drying is an important prevention measure to address any invasive organisms that may have been missed during the cleaning and draining steps. Items that are absorbent, like felt-soled waders, have a special consideration for drying. They should be bone dry to the touch and then given an additional 48 hours before using them in a new water body. To summarize, aquatic invasive species found in the Great Lakes arrived here via cargo ships, and some came from surrounding Pennsylvania waters and regional waterways. Taking precautions, like closely inspecting all gear, is a critical step to prevent transporting and introducing new species and infestations. The most effective way to ensure that aquatic invasive species are not transported from one water body to another is to clean, drain, and dry.